morning. A bit of a grey day here in South East London, but um, there we have a new purchase. Maritime 66, I quite like that one. And obviously we're going to have a little running session there with the 237s uh, in the consist and the class 70 doing a bit pulling the uh, ballast wagons. Yeah, so I quite like, I really do like the livery of that one. It was uh, as the rails of Sheffield special. Uh, very nice, all chipped up, working perfectly, running. But, uh, class 70 has got the uh, Lego Man Biffo sound chip in there. It's an unusual sound in the 70, I must admit. It's all possibly getting drowned out by a certain noisy pair of 37s, which um, I've just been playing with the uh, Gauge Master controller to do a consist. And uh, wow, easy as anything, I must admit. There she's coming around now. Quite a nice loco that one, I must admit. Do like the colour. And she's current, she's running around now. Maritime one that one is. I do love the uh, the brake van. Uh, it's an uh, ESU Lock Sound 5 from Lego Man Biffo on the 70, and uh, it's got some extra functions like the dynamic brake fan. And of course, as soon as she stops, the, uh, the cab light comes back on. So, nice functions that.
and uh, also just to show you that uh, I purchased uh, a southern region brake van so but she's had all the uh, all the extra bits in her the uh, end of train lamp and the sound chip is all in there and uh, just to demonstrate if you can hear it above the 37s uh, as soon as I move it who's moving yeah there we are there's the end of train lamp working away so it's it's all done now in that uh, southern region brake van now, that's the nice thing because it should be a southern region. Uh, so Robert, yeah, it doesn't obviously correspond with the movement of the engine, I mean she does, you can match the speed once she gets playing but it's not like a proper sound chip, it uh, works by uh, motion detector, starts off with steam, uh, chuffing you know, uh, slowly getting, and it, as it, because it, uh, it's running for quite a while it comes up to a constant speed as if the engine's uh, running quite sweetly so yeah it's obviously not as good as a proper sound chip in a locomotive but hey you know it gives uh, steam sound to the a non-steam sounded uh, steam loco so it's not bad wow it's nothing nothing noisier than a 37 and maybe uh, two 37s <laughs> Yeah, anyway, okay. So I'm just quite uh, chuffed that I've been able to uh, sort out how to do a consist. It's very easy. Um, just for those who don't know, you have to uh, get into the locomotive and turn its lights and sound functions on because the, the, uh, the number under the consist, that doesn't work. You have to still call up the locomotives individually to sound uh, to turn their lights and their sounds on but once they're running you go back into the consist function whatever you what number you've given the consist and uh, as you can see they're running and also because my two locos have got couplings only on the back obviously one loco has to work in reverse that's why they're coupled together and again once you're doing the consist you uh, you earmark one locomotive to be running reverse and that's, that's, that's how you can then uh, get them running the same way and yet one loco in theory is running backwards but uh, as you can see runs as sweet as a nut what a fantastic controller the gauge master is wow I love it really really pleased anyway okay just a short video uh, I'm not showing the main maritime running, but uh, she's she's sitting there on the side there, waiting for his turn of duty. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a day for the minute. Um, hope you like the video, and I look forward to seeing all your videos. All right, bye for now. Bye.